all right all right so welcome back uh in this tutorial we'll be talking about refactoring the header and the footer so that they will be reusable so we want a situation whereby this header this head section okay this head section and the footer this footer we're going to put it in a separate file okay so that we can reuse it in other pages in this application okay all right so let's do that quickly to do that we are going to come here cut off this from here on this area then we we'll go to includes folder we create a file called head if you have been following my lecture you would have mastered this refactoring method okay you can call it head or you can, you can call it header let me call it header okay header.php oh, .php okay then you paste it here good okay so your header will be here and it will be reused over and over in other applications so how can I include it in the index it's simple um, I'm going to come here open php then i will uh, or require it i will just say require because it's important it's something that must be present here for this page to work you can use include if you want to but require is more important it's what i recommend that you use they type in include folder this is the folder where this file is which is this includes they type in header dot php then you close there close it then close your php so you see the header is added okay but you know because we've not styled this i've not actually opened the uh, uh any uh, browser to show you all this stuff i will still not open it to show you okay just want when we start styling it we will, we are, i mean i will open it to show you okay all right so down here we're going to go to the footer we repeat the same thing but we are going to copy this then we'll come down to footer section here just here we put it here okay mm, actually that description for head i think we are going to well oh sorry okay then we'll this description for header i think we're going to copy this and Alice desk description yeah just say header section header section okay so we'll come to footer we'll repeat the process just footer dot php then we'll have to copy this footer container completely from here we'll now create another file in the include folder call it footer dot php enter then you paste your file here okay maybe i can just put put enter here type in footer okay type in footer later this footer will go we just want to leave it here just for you to see how the file will show we still type we still remove this later okay all right i think we are done with this ones this one for now okay let's leave it let's go back to index the next thing I think I, I want to do here is to do the same thing I did to footer in all these sections. So just press enter key, type in product, maybe type in a recent or so, recent product here, yeah, recent products. Do the same thing here, enter, type in a advert. I will see you once I come to work on each of these, these sections. I will remove them okay then you come down here featured product okay featured product okay then you come down here type in categories categories just know that all this stuff we're going to remove them as we walk to us then say service description service description description then you can say slider product slider 
product slider and adverts product slider and adverts okay then you come here navigation 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 menu and button menu and the buttons then this one top bar top bar top bar yes i think we are getting there we are getting there gradually all right um i think we are going to stop here in this tutorial so in the next tutorial now we're going to begin to talk about styling general styling for it okay in the next tutorial i think we're going to talk about color um creating color palette okay because in the in this uh um e-commerce uh, tutorial just know that this is a special course for those that have gone through other courses so this is an advanced way so i want to show you advanced way of adding css to your uh, file so in such a way that you can reuse CSS. you can easily change colors and once you change color it will affect every colors in your code so i will show you how to use color variable in css okay so that you can create can easily create a, a template okay and stare your template if you want to all right so that's what we are going to talk about in the next tutorial thank you so much